Hey there guys and welcome back to Pokemon Platinum. In the last episode we beat the Sunny Shore City Gym after a grueling battle. Seriously, that Electivire, such a pain in the ass. Anyway, right now we can just go back to the Pokemon Center and I guess we'll go and start heading towards the Pokemon League because we now have 8 badges. Finally. It took, it took a, quite a while, but we finally pretty much have what we came for. So let's heal the gang right up, and then we shall go on our merry way. Let's see. Uh, who do I put up front? Jeez, Octillery is really falling behind. I guess we'll put him up front. Even though I don't think he's going to get a lot of action in, because the next route is pretty much filled with just water types. Yes, it's one of those water routes, and it's this woman. Oh, and it's him again. What the, you went and got all eight gym badges, Sido? Yes, I did. I envy you. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing he doesn't have eight yet. I don't think the rival ever says how many badges he has. Is he even going for the badges? Is he even challenging all the gyms? I don't know, actually. I know you're tougher than me. Finally, he accepts it. This is about a yard. Not even... Use the metric system, damn it. We're not in America, we're in Sinnoh. Was that your friend? Nah, no. uh, loosely. No, it's not really wonderful. What are we going to compete with without fighting? It made me feel sort of warm seeing you two. Oh, it got her turned on or something. Well, it should actually make sense. I mean, if men can get off watching two women do it, then by that logic, shouldn't women be able to get off to two men doing it? As, uh... Weird as that may sound, or is that not true? Does my logic not hold water? Anyway, let's go and battle this woman here. It's been in the Pokemon League no matter how hard it is, and yet you're swimming back and forth in the middle of the ocean. Not quite gonna get to the Pokemon League that way now, are you? Oh look, it's a Lumini on the worst fish Pokemon in existence. Okay, Octillery, let's see if you can actually beat this thing. Safeguard, yeah, I'm probably good. Uh, oh yeah, wait, none of my moves can hit it very well. Oh, damn. Critical hit surf, one hit KO'd, Aluminium that outranks my Octillery by five levels. That should be an adequate way to show just how weak that thing is. This is so hard. Well, yeah, you're not going to beat the Pokemon League with just Aluminium. Alright, excuse me for wearing my bikini. Oh, no, no. I'm not uh, not bothered by that at all. I suppose. Oh look, the beach ball looks like a Voltorb. That's that's pretty nifty. And a bee barrel, another awful water type. Amnesia, damn it! Artillery, all he has is uh, special moves. So maybe I should get him out of there and bring someone else in, because this is gonna take a while. So let's see, you should probably go for Torterra or Staraptor. Yeah, Staraptor's probably the best one. Close combat, whoop that thing. Because we still have quite a long trip to go, so using Woodhammer willy nilly is kind of contradictory to what I'm trying to accomplish. Anyway, Super Fang, that kind of sucks. I completely forgot that B Barrel had that. Or at least this early. Anyway, Close Combat will easily take it out because it's a B Barrel. It's not good at all. So down it goes, Octillery gets some experience, the Raptor gets some experience, and an Azumarill. Hmm, who shall we leave? That to Rotom, Torterra? Yeah, we'll bring Rotom in. Because despite his ass kicking in the previous episode, he is still not the highest level Pokemon on my team. Wait, anyway, let's go, Azumarill. I kinda like that sprite. Looks pretty good. Like, I don't think Azumarill has had a lot of good-looking sprites, so this one looks pretty decent. And critical hit. I'm not sure that mattered or not. Azumarill is decently bulky, but it's a super effective Thunderbolt from a Rotom. So, Multitasking is battling and swimming at the same time? Well, maybe. I mean, you could have just sat on one of those rocks or something. And we get a Wild Tentacruel. Level 50, oh jeez. I suppose if you're looking for a pretty powerful water type this late in the game, this would not be a bad catch. And of course, Octillery is too slow to run away from him. 
Bloody hell. I hate that so much. Why am I not allowed to escape from this bloody Pokemon battle? I don't want this battle. Just let me escape it. Just uh, switch to someone who is a little bit faster. Namely Staraptor, who I think is the faster one on the team. Either Staraptor or Rotom. Oh yeah, Clear Body suppresses the Intimidate. Pretty nifty. Although honestly, Tentacruel does not care about Intimidate anyway. I think that you can pull off a decent physical Tentacruel. I think it gets Swords Dance and it has access to stuff like Waterfall and Poison Jab. But you really shouldn't be having a physical Tentacruel. I don't think it's Tentacruel's best option. I mean, I think its special defense is insanely good. You should just focus on that. But yeah, Clear Body... It's... I guess it's a decent ability in concept, but no one really uses stat-lowering moves. Really, the only time people ever use stat-lowering is pretty much when it's an additional effect of a move, like, uh, like Rock Smash's defense-lowering or something. Of course, no one uses Rock Smash, but uh, uh, let's just change that analogy to Crunch's defense-lowering, because Crunch is actually a move people use. And bloody hell, I'm getting parafusioned by a Mantike. Come on, Rotom, this is embarrassing. It's a man tyke for crying out loud. Bloody bounce and it's 30% paralysis chance. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, Rotom, pull through. Believe in you. Even though the odds of Rotom actually attacking now are only 25%. And I don't like those odds. Okay, now the odds are 75%. Much better. Bounce again. I'm already paralyzed, so I'm not really going to care much. And this will easily one-hit KO, because despite Mantike's decent special defense, it is still quadruply weak to electric. And that's not going to do you much good. Your stats can be oh so high, but if you're four times weak to something, you will still be going down to a move of that type. Probably the Mantine as well. And they finally got rid of that bloody Remoraid on the Mantine sprite, and he just goes for Confusory again. God freaking damn it. Maybe I should bring in Porygon Z and just Thunderbolt the crap. Oh, there we go. 25% error in my favor. Suddenly, the odds are not so bleak for me anymore. And down it goes, despite Mantine's amazing special defense. Basically, Mantine has uh, the exact same base stat total as Skarmory and... Kind of similar distribution, but just the other way around. Skarmory is physically oriented, Mantine is specially oriented. However, the reason why people do use Skarmory and not Mantine is because Skarmory's typing is good and Mantine's typing sucks monkey balls. And look, it's a Remoraid that should have been an Octillery for like 17 bloody levels. Why do I even bother at this point? I have 8 badges, can I please fight fully evolved Pokémon already? I'm getting really tired of this. Anyway, level 41, is he gonna get a new move? No. I think he learns Ice Beam fairly soon. It's also part of the reason why I used the TM for Ice Beam on Porygon Z. Uh, okay, these two knuckleheads. Let's see, Rotom's paralyzed, so let's not go with him. We'll go with Porygon Z. And Octillery, that should be... Well, not really a dream team, but it should get the job done. So whenever you see there is, that's my dream. Well, if you just keep on swimming, they're probably all connected anyway, so eventually you'll get it done. And... Okay. Two swimmers with a wingle and a Meryl. <sighs> Why do I even bother at this point? Special attack boost, not that I'm gonna need it, because it's not like these two are gonna survive anything I throw at them. Psychic on the Meryl. Because I probably don't even need to waste Thunderbolt PP on that. That critical hit probably didn't matter. I mean, I'm at plus one. Porygon Z, that totally was a one hit KO, regardless of that critical hit or not. And the Wing Out does outspeed Octillery, not entirely unexpected. Let's see what Aurora Beam does. Completely forgot I still have that move. Oh, if only Ice Beam just came around already to replace it. Anyway, he does one hit KO the wing also, that's something. Oh look, another Octillery. And that's probably better than mine, and a Golduck. So you know, this is what I'm talking about. This, these are the kind of things I want to be fighting. 
Not bloody Merrells and Wingles. Alright, Thunderbolt, take the Golduck out because I'm pretty sure Golduck is the bigger threat here. I mean, doesn't Golduck get Cross Chop or... No, I think that's through breeding, actually. Cross Chop could be a pretty big threat to Porygon Z. Oh, crap, I forgot that Surf also hits your partner. Starting in this generation. I thought that was in Generation 5 that it, that, that it started doing that. But I completely forgot it's in this generation that they made that change. Which I kinda dislike. I mean, it's nifty if you have like a team with... If you're in a double battle and you have two water absorb Pokemon that keep healing each other like that, but otherwise it's just gonna be detrimental. And look, another Wingull! Uh, things were looking up with the Golduck and the Octillery, and then we're going right back to the Wingulls and stuff. How disappointing. At least I can take that one out with Aurora Beam and I won't have to damage Porygon Z any further. And of course I'm just gonna go for Agility again because it clearly hasn't learned from that other Wingull that did the exact same thing and didn't live to tell the tale afterwards. Ah, if only the next Pokemon game had competent AI. Oh shit, it actually survived. Damn Octillery, you are weak. It's a Wingull. Anyway, Pelipper, oh that's a big threat. Okay, so I guess that one did live to tell the tale. And then do pathetic damage in return. Maybe should have gone for an attack buff instead of a speed buff. Because he already outspeeded Octillery anyway. But yeah, Thunderbolt is going to destroy the Pelipper. And then another Aurora Beam should do in the Wingull. Bloody hell. Two Wingulls and a Merrill. And the Pelipper isn't really much opposition either. Where are all the good water types? Where's the Starmie? Where's the uh, Kingdra? Where is the... You know, another good water type? Where is the uh, Walrein or whatever? Walrein's decent, right? I'm just gonna keep on going now because... I don't really feel like fighting more shitty water types. And I mostly just want to get to the next Pokemon Center already. And this guy, Sailor, I'm ex expecting him to have pack some fighting types, they usually do. And I guess we'll leave Octillery and see what he has, maybe if he leads with a Machop or something, Octillery will actually be able to take that out. I would assume, at least. Probably outspeed it as well, Machop isn't that fast. Pelipper. Okay, that's gonna be a problem for Octillery, because if the Aurora Beam can even one-hit KO a Wingull, then he sure as hell isn't gonna one-hit KO a Pelipper. Even though it is two levels lower than then Sad Wingle. So we're bringing a ro- oh crap, he's still paralyzed. Oh, Stockpile, yeah sure, go ahead and do that. It's not like that's gonna help you survive. Because Pelipper, like Mantine, is also water and flying, and will thus die to any electric type move. Honestly, there are way too many water and flying types. They need to come up with something original for once. I mean, we have Gyarados, we have Mantine, we have Pelipper. We have uh, Swana. I think that might be all of them, but still, that is quite a few. And most of them suck as well. Mantine sucks, Pelipper sucks, Swana sucks. And Gyarados, the flying type, doesn't really do anything for him because the only flying move he gets is freaking Bounce. Not even Aerial Ace or something, or Gyarados with Brave Bird. That would be pretty beastly. Anyway, he brings out a Gastrodon, so time to whip out the Wood Hammer. He's really leaving me no choice here. Because Gastrodon is a pain in the ass to take out without a Grass type move. And because it has a lot of HP, it will also do a lot of recoil damage. I'm just gonna hope he doesn't have another Gastrodon. That would kinda suck. Machoke. See, I knew we had a fighting type somewhere. They always do. So let's get Torterra out of there, bring in Staraptor. Because Thrampter should be able to take on a Machoke easily. Alright, Machoke, let's go. Lowers attack a little. Not that it helped much in the fight against Faulkner's Electivire. He just said, I don't give a crap, I'm still gonna one-hit KO your Staraptor. Bloody. I think that was a critical hit though, Faulkner got really lucky with those. And of course, Fly misses. Figures. Final throw. Ah, I can easily take another one of those. Okay, Fly again. And cross chop. 
Shame Machoke doesn't get high jump kick. Then he would have just gone for that and killed himself. Or at least done a lot of damage to himself. And Fly will KO. Excellent. I was kind of iffy about that because Fly is kind of weak and Machoke does have decent bulk. But Staraptor is just too strong. Alright, moving on. Through this here, so many rocks out in the middle of the ocean. Islands, I suppose. That no one ever thought of, I don't know, building houses on. Or a hotel. Or a tropical beach resort or whatever. And of course I'm not going to be able to run away from this thing. Just kill off Octillery already so I can get a move on, please. Oh, he doesn't even do that, come on. Oh, there we go. That's going to be real helpful. There we go, now we can get away. And what do we have up here? More battles? No. Well, I suppose we can still battle that chick up there and then we'll call it a day. Ooh, an item. It's probably not anything good, but I might as well go out and get it. And what crappy water types would she have? Only one, and it is a Golduck. Well, I suppose that's decent. I mean, there definitely are better water types. Golduck is kind of crappy. But hey, I'll take a Golduck over another bloody Remoraid or a Luminion or whatever. Bring in Rotom. Screech. They really care about Screech. And again. If you just go in for, I don't know, um, does Golduck get Hydro Pump by that level? Two Hydro Pumps would have probably taken me out. Or uh, other water moves, maybe? But no, now you'll just get one hit KO'd by a Thunderbolt and I'll be on my merry way again. Swimmer Gabrielle. Tide is going out, yes it is. You better get back to the beach then. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Platinum and it's a dive ball. Could be worse, I guess. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.